Dufour Aerospace, a Swiss aviation company that developed aerobatic aircraft, announced that it was selected by Inesuis, the innovation agency of the Swiss Confederation, for a grant. The grant was made pursuant to a 2022 call for projects under the Swiss Accelerator Program of Inesuis. 52 companies will receive funding, along with Dufour. The company will receive almost $3 million, the maximum grant available under the program. Dufour Aerospace applied for funding to develop Dufour's next-generation prototype of Aero 2, a key step towards demonstrating the full capabilities of the commercial version of Aero 2. The first product Dufour Aerospace will launch is the Aero 2, an unmanned aerial vehicle specifically designed for the transportation of critical cargo such as medical supplies of up to 40 kilograms, in medium to long-range distances. Its tilt-wing design combines the best of the helicopter and airplane worlds, vertical takeoff and landing on even the smallest spots and energy-efficient long-range flight at high speeds. With its hybrid module, Aero 2 offers flight time and endurance that is out of reach for today's electric-only VTOL applications. Its payload capacity makes it an excellent fit for search and rescue operations, long-endurance terrain and infrastructure surveillance, and transporting cargo to remote and urban areas. Its hybrid electric powertrain promises a flight time of up to 3 hours or nearly 250 miles in standard configuration, and up to 12 hours with reduced payload. The Aero 2 has a cruise speed of up to 170 km per hour. The Aero 2 will enter commercial service in 2025. The manned Aero 3, featuring a spacious cabin with eight seats and large doors, is the next aircraft in development by Dufour Aerospace. The latest grant follows several significant milestone achievements by Dufour Aerospace. In January, the company closed a Series B financing round led by Vista Global. In late 2022, Dufour announced the largest civilian drone purchase in US history, made with Sprite the drone division of air methods. Meanwhile, prototype development, flight testing, and software development continue apace in Switzerland.